Hello everybody, this is Cal of Church and a Budget PH and in this video, I'm gonna show you the advantages of using Planning Center especially if you are a musician kasi pwedeng gumawa ng chord chart dito na pwedeng i-transpose to different keys at pwede pang gawing number system. If you're interested in this, then check this video out. <laughs> Sawa ka na sa chords dun sa ultimate guitar na minsan medyo may mali at gusto kang gumawa ng own mo na chords na pwede mo matranspose in different keys. Then planning center is the solution. A huge shout out to Doc Roy who has introduced me to this feature. Kasi there was a conversation one time, nag-usap kami. Sabi niya, isan ka gumagawa ng chord charts? Because we give chord charts to our team, no? And then sabi ko, manual ko, Doc, or kumukuha na lang ako sa website ng mga churches like Elevation Resources. And then just download in there and then sisend ko sa team. And then he was like, alam mo ba na pwedeng gumawa ng chord chart sa planning center? Center para ano, hindi ka na magmano-mano dun sa Word or sa Google Docs. Sabi ko, pwede pala dun. Then sabi niya, oh, pwede nga matranspose eh. Pwede nga gawing i-convert to the number system para mas madali. So pwede mo transpose to all keys. What? All this time? Ngayon ko lang nalaman to. And so I explored this thing and I'm gonna share this to you sa video na ito. And if you want me to share that to you, then click that like button below. I'm gonna wait. Thank you for clicking that like button below. All right, sige, let's go. I'm gonna show you na. So here I am again in the planning center na schedule tab. These are the schedules, but that's not what we're interested in. We're gonna go to the songs tab, which is right here. So I'm just gonna click this. Okay. And then these are all of the songs na nandito sa archive ng New Life Music. Now what I'm going to do is click a song. Let's say a thousand hallelujahs. Okay, and then I'm gonna click Lyrics and Chords. Yan. This is the chord chart that we did here in this um, software mismo. So what you can see right here in the left side is the chord chart that you actually manually put right there, right? And then it's original key, okay? But here in the right side, is what you can see is the chord chart na ipiprint mo or the printout na or the final product of this. So right now, it's in the original key. But when you click that, you can actually transpose it to all of the 12 keys, okay? Planning center allows you to do it that way. So for example, if A flat shine, then the singer says, you know what, I want it to be in the key of F. So I'm just gonna click the key of F, boom, and then planning center will automatically transpose your chords that you have done here. So baka nagtataka kayo, uh, Kyle, bakit yung D flat nandito siya sa gitna ng rocks, ganun, yung A flat nandito siya sa gitna ng worship and all that, well, that is a programming language ng paggawa ng chords so that yung chords is ito. For example, ito, yung rocks. Yung, yung chord niya is directly above O and C, right? Or above C or yung worship. Yung A flat is directly above worship. Kasi kung nandito siya sa, sa backside, nandito siya na area. So basically, that's, uh, that's placement ng chords. So that's just a whole chord language. You learn that na lang as you do this. So here is our finished product. So let's just say key of G sharp. Boom, right there. Automatic. Ang bilis niya na tignan. And then you can just download it or you can actually change the format. You can put it in size 11, chord na color. You want it in color blue. Dalawang columns, print size. Pwede mo siyang gawing A4, letter, legal, A4 natin. And then save this chart. Let's just say ganun. Boom. It's all now colored blue. Okay. And then you can download it here. Pwede na yun. Then and you can send this to your team or whatever. Or they can access the chord chart from the app mismo. Now that's actually one, one important thing also that you can do. You can just click the songs sa Planning Center app. And then the Planning Center app will show you this thing right here. The chords that you have made within the app. How convenient is that? So having this feature sa Planning Center can benefit you and the team. First and foremost, the team. Kasi, same kayo ng chords eh. Hindi kayo aasa sa ultimate guitar. <laughs> no hate to ultimate guitar. That's where I started. But like, open kasi siya eh to everyone. Like, I think everyone can edit and they can suggest chords there. And there's so many versions that aren't even accurate. So if you're the leader and you wanna create chords, because you're gonna create chord charts anyways, right? You're just gonna create it here one time. Just one time. You're not gonna do this again. Except na lang siguro kung may mga malikang narinig doon. <laughs> Tapos hindi, hindi tama yung chords na nalagay mo doon. Then you can just send this to your team. So this is something that you can uh, enjoy or benefit from uh, by using this feature sa planning center. And if you're like me, right, I'm gonna use the numbers na feature. Because I like seeing numbers 
rather than, you know, the chords themselves, yung letters, it's easier, like, mas okay sa mata ko na numbers. And then, I'm just gonna write kung anong key yung nandyan. So that when we transpose, uh, edi, numbers na lang yung gagamitin ko. If you learned something from this video, please click that like button below to let me know. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you won't miss any video that I'll be posting soon. Again, this is Kyle of Church on a Budget PH that aims to help churches become efficient and effective. See you guys in the next video. Peace.